beautiful sailing conditions out here. So this is a bit of an update after a while without doing any updates. But uh, behind us there in the distance, probably about 25 mile away now. I'll zoom in is the incredible island of Maupiti, which is one of Maupiti is one of the last the, uh, islands in the society island chain. One of the last which is absolutely incredible and uh, yeah just yeah no words for it no words now Pete probably uh, 40 years ago really a beautiful little island population of 1200 people anyway you can't stay there forever fortunately there's other places to explore and um, yeah some sailing to do some oceans to cross Anyway, the boat's going great. We have, um, yeah, we've uh, done a few little jobs while we're in Mount Petey. I've um, seen a few videos ago, uh, one of those Pacific updates between Panama and the Marquesas. I showed a video where there was water coming in the steering cables. So, um, yeah, we closed the holes a little bit uh, with some epoxy and we serviced all the steering gear while we are in Mount Petey. Greased everything, all the blocks. Um, yeah, just tensioned up the steering cables a little bit and uh, yeah, greased and lubricated the quadrant. Just gave everything a tidy up. I went up the this morning before we left Mount Petey. And um, did a rig check and everything looked pretty good. And at the same time, I just lubricated the track, so the main's going up and down a lot nicer now. And we fitted tank gauges. So we've now got fuel and water gauges on the Victron display, which is awesome. So there's no having to lift the floor and get the dipstick out to check the diesel. We can uh, look at our gauges, which is brilliant. This make life a little bit easier on passage. Yeah, it's pretty wild leaving Mount Petey. It's got a very small pass. And, um, yeah, with, with the sea coming over the edge of the reef, the water's always flowing out the pass. So, um, we're not too bad, though. We had probably 15s, sort of 14 to 16 knots as we left, and that's what we've got at the moment. And uh, But there was a bit of wind against uh, current. Uh, conditions so it stood up a bit and we definitely took a really good uh, greeny over the bow there but the boat handled it no problems at all we just punched our way out through the uh, breaking seas and uh, we had the main hoisted we hoisted it in the flat water of the atoll and um, and then yeah once we got out we just cracked off and away we went and she's just trucking along now pretty bit bouncy out here only because we're um, yeah we're steering to a wind angle about 65 degrees but you can see where uh, we got this sort of not too short but of a sea heading into a bit of a sea here so boats bouncing around a bit got my dad on board just sitting down here on watch with me and uh, yeah He's sailing back to Australia with us, so we're pretty stoked about that. And uh, yeah, we're headed for Tonga, 1,200 mile away. And uh, hopefully be there in around about six days. But uh, I'll do these daily updates as we did on the uh, Panama to Marquesas passage. And um, yeah, I'll post them when we can. We'll put them up on, uh, on the tube and share them with everyone but yeah all the best to everyone and uh yeah we'll catch you soon ciao